Stop scrolling. You're looking at proof. This is gold. Real honest to goodness gold. And I didn't find it in a remote Australian stream. I found it hiding in this bag of $5 play sand from a local hardware store. The question isn't if there's gold in there. The question is how much did we find? And why is it in sand meant for your kid's sandbox? Oh, wow, look at all those. We've tested Home Depot, we've tested Lowe's, but we found in this Australian play sand is insane. You're gonna to wanna to check out your own backyard after this. Vinny, we got gold from Bunny Sand, that's insane. Okay, here's the real story. We got a giant new sand pit for the kids. Problem is, there's no sand. Yeah. So we hit up Bunnings, which is Australia's equivalent of Home Depot. Vivi, you ready to get some sand? We grab three bags, but before the sand goes in the pit, we have to process it. I've had success finding gold in hardware store sand before, but this isn't just a fun experiment. This is a safety check. We're cleaning this sand to make sure it's safe for the kids, and if we find gold, that's just a massive bonus. The plan is simple. Build a custom recirculating gold recovery system right here on the deck using my trusted high banker. Let's get to work. First, the water system. We're setting up a closed loop system with totes and a catch bucket. Then, the gold catching machine, the Crux High Banker. This thing is a gold thief's nightmare with its sectional riffle mat. As you can see, the sand is all stacked up. The three bags that we got that we're gonna be testing and cleaning so that way we can fill that sand pit right there. Hopefully we get a lot of gold, but also a lot of clean sand. System check, water flow is perfect. We are ready to start setting up the Crux High Banker. Vinny, I think we're ready to test run it and see how the flow looks. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Looks like it's flowing pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. One critical step, a few drops of rinse agent to break the surface tension. This ensures those tiny microscopic gold flakes don't float away. They are forced to sink into the riffles. Three bags of sand to process. Let's start scooping and see what the first bag delivers. Scoop after scoop, the high banker's grizzly bars are filtering and the water is working its magic. We're running it slow, giving the gold enough time to settle out. Don't forget to subscribe or follow, like this video and share with others. Thank you for your support. What's nice is it sticks up there and then slowly a little water drains it down through the grizzly bars and then drops it into the sluice. Now look at this, we are seeing tons of black sand coming through. For any prospector, black sand is your best friend. It's heavy iron ore that often travels with gold. This is a huge encouraging sign. All right, Finny, that's two buckets down and we have one more bag to go of the sand.
It's super all hot out here. We are definitely gonna jump in the pool after this. And uh, Finny is getting busy right now, feeding that last bit of sand through the Crux High Banker. I'm excited about this. I'm really just excited to see if there's gold, but also have the sand pit set up for the kids finally. So watch what I mean when I feed this sand in. If you feed a big old scoop and depending on the angle of your hopper box, we'll let the water kind of circulate and, and feed it properly through the high banker. So watch this, we're gonna do a giant scoop. And see how it just slowly melts as the water and flows through. That's exactly what you want to make sure it has enough time for the gold to get separated from everything else. The last scoop from the final bag, the moment of truth is just seconds away. It's time for the final bucket. Let's dump it in. The moment we've been waiting for, is there gold in Bunning sand? It's time to clean out the mountains. This is the mat that should have all the gold, if there's any gold. Oh, there is a piece right here, but that tiny little piece right there. So that's a tiny little micro fine piece of gold right there. But that's definitely gold fitty, so at least we got one. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, buddy, Let's see what we get. It's always a promising sign when you see that much black sand. So that might be why we saw at least one speck so far and hopefully there's gonna be a lot more. Oh, there's another one right there, that's oh. two. Oh. You see that? Oh! Yeah, there's two. For sure, we haven't even gone through it all. It might be hard to see, but there are four pieces of gold right there. One, two, three, four. I lied, we got more gold. Yeah. Hi Finny, here it is. Here's those extra specks. There's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, four pieces of gold in there, you guys. Wow, so we got almost a dozen pieces of gold with those first four that we got. We did it. We found almost a dozen flakes of real gold in this ordinary bag of play sand. This is officially more gold than I found in many of my creek trips. Now, the sand is clean, safe, and ready for the kids. If you enjoyed this crazy experiment, hit that like button and subscribe or follow for more. And hey, go check your own play sand. You might just strike it rich. There we go. Whoa. There you go. Think your uh, rock truck can handle that load? There we go. Livy, what are you building over there? Are you paving? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>